What's going on, everybody? It's the Creative Fro, checking back in for another episode of Fireside Tech. I hope you enjoyed your week and are ready to learn something new because today, I'm going to be showing you how you can use jump cuts in your video edits. Now, if you didn't get a chance to see, this past Wednesday, we posted a video going over what jump cuts are and why I wish I knew about them when I first started out. So if you've yet to seen that video, I suggest you pause this video now and go check that out and you should be all set to speed. But before we dive into today's tutorial, let me remind you quickly to hit the big red subscribe button if you have yet to already, and also turn that notification bell on just for fun. So for today's tutorial, I will be using Final Cut Pro 10 to show you how you can make these jump cuts work. And the tips that we use today in Final Cut Pro 10 can be used on any other editing software. So what I'll do right now is I'll sit in front of the camera and talk about what I went through for yesterday. So it'll be me sitting here describing what I was doing yesterday. And we're gonna use jump cuts to cover up the parts where I mess up or I don't like exactly what I said so we can make sure our edit is clean by the end of it. And don't forget these jump cuts can be used in any other video style you wanna use, whether that's vlogs, tutorials, or maybe even corporate videos if it fits that style as well. So we'll record the clip and then we'll jump onto the computer and I'll show you how to cut it all together. So yesterday we ended up going over to Waterloo. So yesterday my cousin ended up having a football camp in Waterloo, Ontario. So we ended up leaving early in the morning because we had to be there early in the morning. We left around 6 a.m. Um, Sometimes this happens while you're recording, you forget what you're saying. So right now we have this dead space in between our talking clip, but this can all be cut out. So after we got to Waterloo, first thing we did was drop James off at the university, but we had a little bit of trouble finding it. So we were lucky that we left early because it gave us more time to be able to find a field. It gave us enough time to be able to find a field and get James to the practice in time. After we dropped James off, we went to Tim Hortons and decided to find a place to eat lunch. We found a place and we had, we were able to find a restaurant to find, we were able to find a restaurant. We were able to find a restaurant that we liked. So we went over there and got our, so we went over there and enjoyed a lunch. After lunch, we went out and took a couple photos. After lunch, we went out and took a couple photos and then we decided to go to Winners and pick up a couple of and then decided to go to Winners to pick up a couple things to work out in because we had enough time to get a workout in throughout the day. Um, I'm trying to remember what we do. Winners, workout. And so after the workout, it was pretty much time, after the workout was completed, it was about time to go get, after the workout was completed, it was about time to pick up my cousin again. So we went to go pick him up at around four o'clock so we went to pick him up. So we went to go pick him up after the gym. After we got to the field and my cousin was done the after we got to the field and my cousin was done the workout. After we got to the field and my cousin was done the camp, we then went home. After we after we went to the field to pick up my cousin and take him back. No. After we went to the field to pick up my cousin, we went back home. It was about a two hour drive. So, it, after we went to go pick up my cousin after football, it was about a two hour drive. So it was nice to have, no, I made us tired. And after, after we got to the field, we were able to pick my cousin and take him back home for a two hour car ride, which made us all a little sore by the end. But all in all, the day was a great success. So now that we have our clip recorded, let's take it to the computer and I'll show you how you can apply jump cuts to make that sound a lot more smoother. You see it's two minutes and 44 seconds long right now. And I'll show you how you can go about adding jump cuts to this clip. So we'll start from the beginning and work our way to the end. Okay, so the first part I don't really like so much. So I'm just gonna completely cut that out. Just gonna let it play through. So in Final Cut Pro, you can press the L key to fast forward through. So I'm just fast forwarding through the clip and getting to the part that I wanna keep. Okay, so right there I found the spot that I want to cut out. So I'm going to hold the Alt button and then I'm going to use the left bracket and that's going to close us down. So now the clip will start like this. Okay, so pretty much right there, as I said, we can cut this part out. So let's work on getting this clip out of here. Right now I know this is the end of the clip. So I'm going to hit Command B 
and that's going to cut my clip right now as you can see it's made this these little checkered marks so you know it's cut away and what i'm going to do is end on the part that i like here perfect so now this i can so now i found the part that i want to cut out so in order to do this i'm going to hold alt and use the right key so that's going to cut everything on the right hand side of the playhead and as you can see in between these clips here there's a little bit of a pause Right there, I'm kind of breathing and I move my eyes back toward the front of the camera. So this is where the jump cut really comes in hand. And I'm going to zoom in so we can see it better. And another thing you can do so you can see your waveform, the speaking parts of the clip, is go over to the right and mouse over to change the appearance of the clips in the timeline. And right here, I'm going to drag this bottom part up. Let's bring it all the way just for this tutorial. So now we can see all these little bumps here on the screen are the speaking parts. And where there's no bumps, there is no speaking, which means it's the dead air. So we'll make sure that this is really tight in between both clips. That way the jump cut is clean. So right there, I think that's good. So I'm going to hold alt left bracket. Go over here a little bit, get some of this dead space out. And another little trick you can use is we can expand these audio components and just do an L cut over into this clip right there just a small one and collapse it back down perfect and this can be up to everyone's different preference but i like to have a little bit more space in between the speaking so it doesn't really seem like a jump cut as much so that's the techniques i pretty much use for the jump cuts i'm going to go through and clean up the rest of this video and then we can watch it back so you can see how the jump cuts look And there you have all the jump cuts. And I realize now while editing this, I said after a lot. And this is my first story time, so please don't be too hard on me for saying after so much. Next time I do record a story time, I'm not going to say after, after each clip. After. Alright, so that's everything I have for you guys here in front of the computer. Let's jump back in front of that fire and wrap this video up. So yesterday, my cousin ended up having a football camp in Waterloo, Ontario. So we ended up leaving early in the morning because we had to be there early in the morning. After we got to Waterloo, First thing we did was drop James off at the university, but we had a little bit of trouble finding it. So we were lucky that we left early because it gave us enough time to be able to find a field and get James to the practice in time. After we dropped James off, we went to Tim Hortons and decided to find a place to eat lunch. After lunch, 
We went out and took a couple photos and then decided to go to Winners to pick up a couple things to work out in because we had enough time to get a workout in throughout the day. After the workout was completed, it was about time to pick up my cousin again. After we got to the field, we were able to pick my cousin and take him back home for a two hour card ride, which made us all a little sore by the end. But all in all, the day was a great success. So there's a simple story that I told there. And as you can see in the middle, I was messing up on some parts and really trying to remember what was happening during the day. So if you're recording your own videos, feel free to pause in between and gather yourself together before you start to speak again. There is no time crunch. You can keep recording over and over again. Sometimes that happens for myself, even though I have been doing these videos consistently for about over a year now. I hope you got a better visual understanding today of how you can apply jump cuts to your videos and really get to the message that you want to tell. Please like the video if you did, comment down below if there's anything you want to see for Fireside Tech and share this video if you think it helps somebody. I hope you enjoy your upcoming week and crush it. I can't wait to see you next Sunday back in front of this fire again. It's the Creative Fro and I'm out.